Do you want to learn how to connect Namecheap to Cloudflare? In this video, I'm going to help solve your problem. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So on Namecheap, you need to first log in, and you also need to log in to your Cloudflare account. Now on Namecheap, go over to domain list on the left-hand side, click on it, scroll down, and find the domain that you want to connect to Cloudflare. So I'm going to click on manage on the right-hand side. And inside here, in name servers, you need to select custom DNS by clicking on this drop down. It should be Namecheap D basic DNS. Just select custom DNS and type in these two. This is donald.ns.cloudflare.com and the second one is edna.ns.cloudflare.com. Just add these two name servers here and press on that tick mark in order for this to work. And it's going to say that the DNS server update may take 48 hours to take effect. Now once done, go to your Cloudflare and then on account homepage, you're going to find add a domain, click on it. Now in enter an existing domain, we're going to type in that domain that we got on Namecheap. Just type it in here, continue. And it's going to say that the domain has already been added to your account. Go to this to overview. If you add a new domain, it's going to pop up like this and then you need to select the plan. It's best to start with the free plan. And it's going to say something like this, that review your DNS records. But on top, you're going to find that it says invalid name servers, which is because I don't have this domain. I'm just showing you how it will look like when you move forward with it. But on Namecheap, if you set the custom DNS like this and you set up a domain, it's going to say valid name servers, and then you can continue to activation. And this time it says that add records later without DNS records is unable to activate your site, especially if you set up your DNS records now. Now it says that log into your DNS provider. In our case, we are on Namecheap and replace your current name servers with Cloudflare name servers. Like I said before, you need to put these two name servers. And once done, click on continue. After that, it should work. And on the top, you're going to find active with a green tick mark. Now on the right hand side, now you're going to see the overview, which if you have just added, it should not be there. It will take time in order for it to work. But on the right hand side, you're going to find DNS. You can click on this DNS records, click on it. And on here, you're going to find all the DNS records that are added and you can add a new record from here. So click on this plus icon and then you can select the type, the A record or TXT record, C name record, etc. Put the name, it could be at the rate for a uh, root, which is going to point to grafolia.com or your own domain. And for the IP address, it should be that address that you get. Maybe you're trying to connect your hosting or hosting or any other hosting, and it's asking you to add the IP address. So you can just add the IP address here like these. And then you can select the proxy status. If you want all the traffic to go through Cloudflare or not, you can turn it off if you want, or it's going to have the traffic proxy to Cloudflare, which is good if you do this. And then you can click on save and that's it. That's how to connect Namecheap to Cloudflare. Did this video help solve a problem? Let me know with a like and comment. Also on the right hand side, you're going to find more Cloudflare and Namecheap tutorials. So see you there and bye for now.